If you run an online brand, sell with e-commerce, or you're a digital solopreneur, stop here. The only thing slowing your sales is slow manual content design. I'm talking about ditching boring templates and unlocking the ability to turn one photo into a viral marketing campaign in minutes, not hours. I'll show you the free CapCut AI design workflow that instantly generates high quality content, replicates any viral style, and adapts to every platform. This is the AI design revolution you need to automate your content and selling in 2025. In this video, you're gonna learn three things that will instantly level up your design game. First, instant generation. How to turn a product photo and a prompt into a high fidelity poster, marketing materials, or viral content for free. Second, style replication and conversational editing. How to copy any viral aesthetic and tweak your design using simple text commands. And third, batch processing. How to generate assets for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube simultaneously, unlocking your ticket to the AI design revolution. The powerful tool we're going to be using today is called CapCut. Now, I've been using CapCut to edit content for years. Some of my fellow creators may have heard of it before, but today, we're specifically diving into the desktop version. And it's basically a powerful, free, easy-to-use, all-around creation and editing tool that now includes top-tier AI-powered features for designing and creating content. The links to CapCut are going to be down in the description and the pinned comments. Make sure to download the desktop app and take advantage of Seadream 4.0, one of the top AI models out for free across CapCut. And the desktop app works great on both Mac and Windows. So go down there, download the desktop app, and follow along with the video. Real quick, before we dive in, I wanted to let you all know that I built an auto DM and comment bot to automate my Instagram comments and direct messages. Yeah, so I don't have to pay for expensive tools like ManyChat anymore. If that sounds like something you need, just know that for a limited time, I'm letting people get access to that completely for free. The links for that are going to be down in the description and the pinned comments as well. Try it out and let me know what you think. Now let's jump into CapCut and the AI design features. So once you've downloaded the CapCut app onto your Mac or your PC, just open it up from your desktop. And this is the first view you're going to get of CapCut when you open it up. Over here to the left is the main menu. So you've got the home option, which will take you back here. You've got spaces, which will allow you to save your projects that you work on. And below that, you have image editing, create with AI, and marketing tools. Now, here in the center, this big blue button is what you'd click on if you wanted to start editing a video project or just getting to work on a project. You can click here. And below this, you have an AI video maker option, a record screen. And I love how they've added all these new AI tools, right? So they've got the long video to shorts, the video translation, text to speech, AI dialogue for scenes, AI fashion model options. You can enhance your quality of your content, right? So it'll upscale your images. You've got the auto cutout features and you've also got AI video generations and AI image generations. And below this, you have your projects. So any video projects you work on, you'll be able to find down here. But what I wanna look at today specifically is this AI design feature here at the top right. So let's click on that. All right, cool. So now we have the AI design feature open. Here in the center, you have a prompt input box like a lot of other UIs. So this should be familiar to a lot of you. Kind of looks like ChatGPT. Below this, you have an option to upload reference images either from the device or from the spaces that we were looking at earlier. Now, if we scroll down, we'll see that there are some options to just start getting examples of what the tool can do. If we refresh here, It'll give us some more. And below this, you can see inspiration, right? So I love looking at inspiration on all these different apps because this is kind of where you want to start. You really don't want to go in blind prompting uh, different AI tools. You want to look at any sort of inspiration or reference or feed where you can see what other people have been working on so you can get ideas of what it can and can't do. So this tool here in general is great for a content creator, brand, or business. As you can see, it's got the product poster set. It's also got an Instagram post set. So if you wanted to create some Instagram posts, you could also use the AI design feature here. You've got an outfit swap option here. Below that, you have shampoo posters, a YouTube thumbnail. So let's say you are a YouTube content creator and you need a quick thumbnail. You don't even need to leave the desktop app. You can just come over here and generate your thumbnail for the video that you just edited and created inside of CapCut. So next to that, we have another IG post inspiration option. We have pixel art posters animated poster, AI figurines. You have a model holding a product in their hand, 
right? So that's cool. Then you have model images. If you're a brand or business here, you can see that there are things specifically tailored that this tool can do that's going to be beneficial for you. And also if you're a content creator, you can see here from this inspiration page kind of all around what the tool can do. So here you have photo editing option, logo design. If you're like a startup founder or you're thinking of starting your first app or building your first brand, you're going to need a logo. And here you can actually generate that. You got infographics. Maybe you want to create some value content, right? You can use this as a post or you can put it in a newsletter or you can share it with your team. You've also got billboard ads. I think this is cool. Below here, you've got the IG post maker. You've also got this storyboard option here. So it's going to generate a full storyboard for you. That's perfect for when you're creating content or coming up with an idea. You can concept the whole thing here with this storyboard option. Here you can see that you can do photo editing with this tool as well. And down here, you've got an EDM header, right? So design a clean email header image for an autumn fashion newsletter with warm seasonal tones. Super helpful for anyone like me, a solopreneur, somebody starting a business or a brand online. You're going to need all these different things. You have an event poster, a fashion branding poster. So let's actually mess around with some of these inspirations just to see what it can do, right? So let's first click on this product set poster. Let's just click on this and let's click on make it yours here. So now we're about to start designing with AI. Here you're going to see in the center a canvas and to the right a chat input box right so you have your prompt input box down here we can see our prompt i'll highlight it real quick and then above here you can see the reference images that this inspiration option is giving us right if we want to change up these images all you have to do is click the x here and it'll remove the image and if you want to add more images down here this option remember that if you click here you can add stuff from your space or from the device now at the top, you've got some more ideas. We can click here on more ideas and it'll generate some more for us. And then to the left, we have the canvas, right? At the top of the canvas, there are some options to resize your canvas. So if you click on this, it's got all the different sizes here that you'd want for a social media post or like a YouTube thumbnail. And it's also got stuff set up specifically for platforms. So you've got Instagram post, Instagram story, Instagram portrait, Facebook post. We can click on more. And it's going to give us more options to resize our canvas. So let's close this. Next to the resize option, we have the background option. And this will change the background of your canvas. If we click one of these colors, for example, this black here, it'll make the canvas black. Let's actually change that back to white for now. And then next to that, we have the insert option. If we click this, it'll show that you can add text. You can upload different assets. You can use templates. You can use shapes, stickers. You can design. You can use frames and you can actually use your own brand kit. So this design feature here is packed with a bunch of options to start creating. Down here at the bottom, you've got a layer panel. So this is going to show you the layers that you have on your canvas. Next to this, you have the zoom option. So you can zoom in and zoom out. If you want to like edit a specific little tiny detail, you can use this. Next to that, you have the move option. So this will allow you to either move with the cursor, right? Or you can use the hand tool just like other designing tools. And then you have your credits. So let's use this prompt here. I'm just going to hit enter. It looks like our AI design agent is thinking. Let's give it a second and let's see what it comes up with. All right. So after just a couple seconds, it's generated the five pieces of content that we wanted. And down here, it's given us a breakdown of what it did. It says on it, I'll design a set of five sleek tech inspired Black Friday promotional posters for you using the headphone images you provided. So the reference images, remember these can be your product. And then it says each will feature your copy and a shop now button perfectly sized for a one by one format. Underneath that, it gave us a design brief. And in the design brief, it broke down the overall style of the five different pieces of content that it made. So it's telling us the visual elements, the text layout, the composition, which is cool because we can always copy this and use that as a prompt again inside of this tool. Now let's close that. And under here, you're going to see the designs that it made. So on the left, you'll see that your canvas is updated. Here's one of the pieces of content it made. Let's click on the next one. That's cool. Let's go to the next one. I like this one it kind of stands out. Let's go to the next one. Let's go over to the next one. Cool. All right. So it made five pieces of content and we could just run this again if we didn't like this, or we can actually respond to it with, uh, let's change up the aesthetic and let's see what it does. 
So we gave it a second, we let it think, and now it gave us this. It says, of course, let's switch things up. To make sure I nail the new look, could you give me a hint about the new aesthetic you have in mind? So this is cool because it's working with you, right? It's not just going off and bringing back some slop. You can actually like fine tune the process. So here it's given me some options at the bottom, like a minimalist and clean, luxurious and elegant, bold and vibrant, retro and vintage. Also surprise me with a new creative direction. Let's do surprise me with a new creative direction. Let's see what it does. It says challenge accepted. I'll craft a completely new creative direction for your posters. That feels fresh and exciting. I love that it gives us this design brief here. I think this is super cool. Like I said, be smart. You can always take that, copy paste it into this agent again, and probably get a similar visual. So let's check out the content that CapCut AI Design Agent is going to surprise us with here. And right away, I can tell this looks better than what we originally got. Let's click here on this first image. I think this looks much better than the original content it gave us just by telling it to get more creative on its own it's given me something better than what i think the inspiration option gave us so let's click on the next one this friday everything counts 50 percent off we got the shop now button let's go to the next one i really like what it did i i think it did a really good job and let's come over here to the next option this friday everything counts and here's the last piece of content so without any thought and without me actually having to rack my brain about what design to use and what kind of style to use. It created this and honestly, I think this is perfect. Like one of these pieces of content or a couple of these pieces of content is really all you need. Let's try something here. I'm gonna download this piece here and we're gonna see if we can generate this again, all using this one style here. So to download anything, just know that here at the top, you have this download option. Just click on this and you can either copy it as a PNG, you can download it or you can share on socials. All right, so now that I've downloaded this image, I've gone here and I've added it as a reference image. I'm gonna say, do that again, but use this style and aesthetic for all the posters. Let's see what it does with this. I'm trying to keep these prompts super simple and I left an E out here, as you can see. Uh, the agent is still gonna understand. Most tools will understand if you spell things wrong. Hey, look, I'm typing all day. Typos happen, but the agent clearly understands it. So it says, absolutely. I love the luxurious direction. I will now apply the same stunning aesthetic. It's given us the design brief again. And let's just wait for it to generate these images here. Check this out. So this is the first option it gave us. And it stuck to the style of the reference image. And it made all the other posters the same. Right. So this Friday, everything counts 50% off. This Friday, everything counts 50% off. This Friday, everything counts 50% off. So it followed the rules so strictly that it actually took the copy from the reference image and used the same copy for each of these. So again, to come up with a concept or a design, maybe you have one piece of copy or three pieces of copy that you've been using to promote a product and you just want to create new ads for that, but you don't want to actually ruin that good copy that you have, that good hook that you've been using. This is what you would do. Right. So you come up with these different concepts. You use these tools to expand on the possibilities of what you can do. Right. So I really like this one here. And if we go back to the top to the reference image and I click on the reference image, we could even use this here and this image here. So you could use this as finished content or as a starting point for the content that you're designing. So let's start a new chat and try some other examples. Let's come over here to the top left. Click this little arrow and you'll see a drop down up here. Click on new project, and this should take us to a new chat. Now, when it comes to YouTube, two of the things that are most important when you upload on the platform is your title and your thumbnail. There's people that offer services, making thumbnails for creators. And with this tool, you're going to be able to design your thumbnails yourself. You won't have to worry about paying those fees or getting caught up trying to come up with the perfect thumbnail. Let's check out this idea here. Let's click on this. It says, create a sleek YouTube thumbnail for my Tokyo travel vlog featuring iconic city visuals, vibrant colors, and bold title text. And it has a reference image. Now, I would suggest going on YouTube and finding a competitor or a video that you want to emulate, or maybe it's talking about the same topic your video's about. Grab that, download that, and use that as your reference image here. So let's just use this. I'm going to hit enter. So it looks like it's finished over here to the left. We'll see the generated thumbnail. There are some things I'd like to change about this thumbnail, but of course you could just talk to the AI design agent here in the input box and just tell it to change up anything you'd like. 
I want to create a different type of thumbnail now. So let's try something else. I've attached a reference image of one of my thumbnails and I've updated the prompt a little bit to see if we can get creative with this. I want it to try to use the reference image, but to get creative and to create a thumbnail for a workout routine. So let's hit enter. All right, so we have our new thumbnail here on the left and it did reference the image that I gave it. I think you could definitely use this thumbnail as is, but let's say you wanted to edit it. If you double click on the image at the top here, you're going to see there are options to edit the actual design that it's generated. Not only can you create content quickly, but you can also personalize and edit that content as much as you want. So here, if we click on edit elements, what this is going to do is it's going to take the character, the text and the background and break them into editable elements. So let's give it a second. All right, perfect. It looks like it's broken the character, the text, and the background into three separate elements. So if we click on the background, I can actually move it around. If we click on the character, we can move them around and the text, we can make it bigger or smaller. You can change the font style, the size. You can also align the text in a different way. And this is going to help you to actually perfect that thumbnail that you're creating in here. So not only can you create content quickly, but you can also customize and edit that content. There's also a drop down here that says AI tools. If you click on this, it's got in painting, you can expand, you can remove, and you can upscale. You can crop this image here. You can remove the background. You can replace the image. And it's got some other settings here. If you click on this, you'll see that an editing panel shows up here on the left of the window. And it's got some other things that you can do to the thumbnail. This is gonna save you a bunch of time coming up with a concept or literally a finished thumbnail ready to use in minutes. Having CapCut on your desktop is a great option for any content creator, brand, or business looking to generate marketing materials or content. Don't forget that there are these Instagram post sets, right? So we could break down all of these. I think all of these are valuable. For example, let's click on this infographic. If you wanted to share some value content with your Instagram community, you could use these infographics as a carousel or as a static post. This storyboard option here would work perfect for carousel posts. So get creative. Just because it says storyboard doesn't mean that you can't create a cohesive set of images that you can then use as a carousel post to tell a story on your Instagram. So make sure to download the CapCut desktop app. Jump in there. Start messing around with this AI design feature. It's very powerful, super useful. It's going to save you a bunch of time. The links for that are down in the description and the pinned comments. Don't miss out. They currently have a seven-day free trial of their pro version, so make sure to take advantage of that. Also, don't forget that I built an Instagram auto DM and comment bot, and I'm looking for people to try it out. If you want access to that, the link is also down in the description and the pinned comments. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Now that you've learned how to create AI content for your brand or business, it's time to learn how to humanize your written AI content and make it undetectable. Want to learn how to make your AI content sound more human? Then watch the video that's going to show up here on the screen. Subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll catch you all in the next one.